In this video, we're going to talk about getting ketones from carboxylic acids, okay? And the idea is that I'm going to use a simple, simple carboxylic acid, such as benzoic acid. So if I take benzoic acid and I add any sort of R lithium, in this case, I'm going to add CH, um, methyl lithium, I will get acetophenone, okay? So what I'll end up doing is that I'll lose my OH group. I'll lose this group and I'll form the bond with the CH3 and I get a set of a note. Now, the idea is how does this happen? Well, let's go through the mechanism, okay? So we know lithium hydroxide is a strong base, okay? Yeah, and I didn't add my base here. I'm using lithium hydroxide. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> okay? So we know lithium hydroxide is a strong base, okay? My lithium forms plus charge in solution, my OH gets a negative charge. So in the first step, this is a strong base, so it's going to deprotonate. Okay, so now I'm going to form water in solution along with an oxygen that's negatively charged. Now, just be careful, this reaction is in equilibrium, okay? So at any point, this reaction is reversible. Okay, now in the next step, in the next step, my... My R lithium, or in this case, my methyl lithium, will actually come in, okay? So my methyl lithium will actually come in. And we know the, the, the carbon is negative with charge because our, our lithium forms plus charge in solution. So my carbon is very nucleophilic. So it will come in and attack the, the carbon of the, the carbonyl. And we'll use those electrons to put on the carbonyl, okay? So now we're at an intermediate that looks like this. We have an O minus, we have another O minus, and we have our CH3. Okay, and here's our ring. Now, don't forget, we have the lithium plus charges that are balancing it out. These negative charges here. So now we're at an in, we're, we're at an intermediate that looks like this. Now remember, we formed water in solution. Yeah, so we did form water in solution when we took out the first hydrogen. Okay, we took out the first hydrogen, we formed water in solution. And so what one of these will actually do is that they'll come in, grab a hydrogen, okay, and reform hydroxide back in solution, okay? So now I'll get to a point where I have an alcohol. I still have this R group, and then I have another O minus, okay? With a lithium plus charge just balancing out. Again, remember we have plenty of water in solution. Okay, so this will also come, get a hydrogen, and reform hydroxide in solution. And so now we're back to basic conditions uh, in a neutral state. So we have the dialkyl with our R group. Okay, now the next step, what do you think will happen? Well, uh, we form water in solution previously. So water is going to come in, okay, and these lone pairs on the, the oxygen will grab one of those hydrogen and break that bond, okay, we form hydroxide in solution, okay. So now we have an oxygen that has two hydrogen, it has a plus, uh, plus charge, we still have our hydroxy group out here and we have this R group here. Mm -hmm. So now what will happen? Let me redraw the structure. So I'm just going to redraw the structure so you can see it. Okay. So we have the R group, we have the benzyl group, and we have an oxygen that has two hydrogen, the plus charge. Okay. We have an R group, and then we have an oxygen that's bonded to a hydrogen. So in the last step in mechanism, it so happens that water now is a great leaving group. So these electrons will come in, form the double bond and expel water as a leaving group. And so what do we get? We get acetophenone, okay? So again, this is a general reaction procedure of, 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 of getting ketones from carboxylic acid using lithium hydroxide and some sort of R lithium as, a, as, a, as, a, as, as the nucleophile. So the general scheme, scheme I want you to take away is that any R, yeah, any carboxylic acid, I'm gonna add 
lithium hydroxide in some sort of R lithium. Uh, and we they use they do this in acid in the second step. Uh, and I'll get the R. Okay. But again, uh, so so that's the general procedure. So notice I notice I. Uh, uh, I use water here instead of acid, but remember, on the basic conditions, on the basic conditions, water is 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 uh, is acidic. Okay, so on the basic conditions, water is acidic. So the general procedure is to use acid H three O plus, but again, either works. Um, so you could go with the acid; doesn't matter. But this is general scheme. Take lithium hydroxide and some sort of R lithium and an acid. I get um, some R. I, I get a ketone from it. 